How y'all doing? Sorry, it's raining. I was just out in my garage and I had bought me a massive horse table saw stand and it was $70 and it reminded me of the DeWalt stand. They had uh, labeled for $210 or $200 and half the time it wasn't even available. Uh, so basically I saw the sale at Menards and I just drove out near both. I mean, you know, right next to where their bolts were. And this thing's awesome. I mean, those arms extend out further so you can actually wheel this out. Keep your table saw on there. I got a bed slider in the back of my truck. I should have the dust collection set up for it. You know, I just and the eye socket, eye socket key, whatever you want to call it, where it turns the vacuum on and your tool on at the same time. Um, I go over to basically what I call my main tool section area, because that whole bench under there is covered in tools under there. And just, this whole garage is just tools. I mean, it, it's... I have a problem. Anyways, I go over here. I'm looking for some screws. Find a whole box of deck screws. Composite deck screws, I believe, so they have the reverse twist. So basically, it uh, wouldn't splinter the wood. Well, I did just buy the Rockwell Jaw Horse. And honestly, I was thinking I was buying the other style that could actually hold, you know, up to like 36 inches wide. But honestly, after thinking that it was $79 compared to $169 for the other one, I found out what it can do. By reading the instructions, I just set this up in about three minutes, and this thing's awesome. You know, I got all this stuff, even my new welder. I've got another 220 welder, but I can't even use I don't like using it. I got a, you know, uh, 115 volt 90 amp flux core welder to, um, build the legs for the epoxy river tables. Well, right now I'm just building the Apollo style bench and it's a little wet. And I'm building out an MDF. I'm only doing, you know, two foot wide by six inch tall um, separate pieces, I guess, separate boxes. And they're going to be the height of my table saw when all said and done. Uh, but I just thought it was great. Um, and how nice Rockwell's tools all are. And uh, yeah, just having this Master Force uh, tool stand I've been wanting to get for from DeWalt forever, but just haven't really sprung for it, and then I haven't really uh, found them available when I go to. So, I went to the store with a $600 in-store credit and bought this saw stand, uh, that table saw stand. Went to uh, our marketplace at the but he posted that they had a sander from Rigid, six inch sander, that had a bad trigger. And they know me up there. So I went up there and I got. Dude isn't 
watching this show. I'm sure not too many people are. <laughs> but anyways, I've got that one. I've got the Master Force one. I've got a DeWalt one. DeWalt is obviously like my go-to brand. I do have a 10-inch Ryobi miter saw that was supposed to be used on, in the field for my guys. Job Max Rigid, and, you know, DeWalt, Milwaukee M12, Fuel, Regular, Brit, you know, uh, I got Corded Rigid Job Max set, but I mean, uh, Cord Lab, and um, basically uh, a lot of stuff I gotta do. But, anyways, I just thought it was great. Because I was struggling trying to get these pieces of plywood up here, ripping them at 23 inches, and uh, even just taking a full sheet and ripping these, you know, five inch slivers, which are going to be the ends and basically the studs in between each table. And they're going to rest on my saw horses, which have framing underneath. You can see it's got framing. So I actually put the level on it, and it's actually level as is. But I bought self leveling blades, and I was wondering what I bought them for. Oh, yeah, here's my dust collection hose, never used. being round it's going to make it a little more difficult so instead of doing that they so what i had to do is put some washer and a little bolt you know but anyways uh yeah i just got the casters that all locked and they have quarter 20 uh screws in there already, and so does the top, and I found out that actually, I don't know if it was missing from uh, Amazon or what, but check this out, you can see it says four times with the cable mount, and this is the box it came in. So I cut it apart and I did not find any flanges or anything. So I don't know if they turned them or what. Maybe I cheaped out and bought the uh, used one. And somebody pulled the fast one and kept those. So who knows. But I'll have to figure that out. Um, that is the way I can adjust my cable. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm fine with these saw horses I got now. They're so strong. I can hold 1,100 pounds. I mean, those walnut tables, like they're going to be 4 feet by 8 feet pretty soon here. That last 3 by 5 is hard to move just by yourself.
and I should go back to the house just because the house being under construction of all the dull ceilings and everything. Got a couple pods out there. I should actually put those to use just to clear one out. But that would be the smart thing to do, alright? So, anyways, uh, just wanted to let you guys know this is what the best until you can do with your Rockwell saw stand as a support for a big sheet of plywood when you're ripping to ply with your table saw. It looks crooked to me. Often it is. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, yay for me. I got, I got the stuff I needed. So once I get this built, it's go time. I've got uh, a new connection. It's not just river cables. It's you know, if you want new countertops, you got laminate countertops so you can epoxy over the or we can even build you new countertops so easily out of MDF. Two sheets stacked together. Two three quarter inch sheets stacked together, router the edges with an OG edge, which would normally cost you. The granite seventeen dollars a foot, linear foot, so um it ain't no thing if we're uh building out a ply or MBF, especially if you can get the discount sheet because MBF is actually forty nine inches by ninety seven inches. So those two up edges that they give you a discount on usually get cut off anyway, so there's a little fun fact for you. So anyways, uh, this is uh, Josh checking out. Sorry for the long show. This is all new to me, but I want to get my name out there. So, um, do, do something like this for yourself. I suggest it. Get yourself a little portable table. Tell your wife, let you build a shed. As long as she don't care, as long as she gets all three bedrooms and their master closet and basically every closet in the house. Happy life, right? Anyways, talk to you guys later. Remember, quality is remembered long after.